we think uh, we have uh, an interesting story to tell uh, to, to Rotterdam and uh, to the Netherlands and the world because uh, we, we specialize in, in uh, hard and alternative music like uh, metal, like rock, like punk, like uh, wave and gothic and uh, we, we are a very special venue. In uh, 2021 we exist for 40 years. Uh, some six or seven years ago I had the idea to make a book uh, for uh, over Baruch because uh, I want to tell the story because I had a really really great big collection of flyers, posters, uh, some audio material and, and uh, stories in my head and I talked with a lot of people about history and it's always a funny uh, funny topic to talk about here also in the, behind the bar before the bar behind the bar and I thought well we have a celebration to, uh, uh, to uh, we have a celebration. And, and then I thought, well, I've got to make a book. And it was in, yeah, t well, six or seven years ago. I think it's very important to tell the, the founding of, of such a place like this. And that's a very special one because we, it, it's, it's from a time that uh, there were a lot of protests and we can make the circle round by um, to, to, uh, to go to this time. Where, because the youth now is restless, it's very, uh, yeah, in, in a very in a certain time, a very crazy period. And I thought it's that period in 1980, 81, it was also a sort of same, you can compare that time. Yeah, and we want to show all the, the youth cultures which, uh, which were uh, evolving in, in time. That that's also a story we can tell because we used to have uh, punk music, uh, hard rock, and uh, pop to top 40 music. That was in 1980, and the disco, of course. And we, we can tell the story uh, how uh, the music changes, and, and yeah, we can <coughs> make you hear that. And we can make you see that, see show it to the to the to the audience and to the audience which know us. And we also want to tell the story to the audience which don't know us. We did some research to make this project and to make this book. And the first step we uh, called simply the, the city archive for... Um, we were wondering what was the information they have for us. And because we, we think, well, the city is collecting all the information from uh, youth, uh, f uh, youth venues and youth cultures, cultural centers. And we had an appointment over there, and they had two flyers, one uh, poster, and some magazines with one article or two articles in it. And we photographed it, and well, that, that we were amazed by. by that, that, that's not much information about us. So we have to put a step towards them instead of uh, they, they come to us. And then I thought, well, I have to make an email, and I simply sent an email to Simone from Dig It Up. And uh, it was a very enthusiastic reaction which she gave me. And uh, a few days later we, um, we called. And after that, the same week, we uh, had a very good uh, conversation about it. We were very enthusiastic to make some things. Because I have some, we, we as Baruch have something to offer. And they have uh, something to offer us. So I thought, well, we can work together. And that's uh, what uh, the project is all about now. Dig It Up was also our um, uh, intermediary be between uh, us and the uh, city archive. Uh, to, they help us with the, um, uh, to, to do it in a proper way because there's a paper collection and it's not by alphabet or, uh, or a chronicle um, a series or something. And they tell us how to do it and what to do with it. We, we have a workshop. Uh, which they help helps us uh, doing with some five volunteers. They help us with uh, to do that. Uh, I personally also scanned uh, things. And the next step is the the meta the, the meta dating meta meta dating. We had meta never heard of it before, yeah. <laughs> so uh, she introduced introduced yeah. it to us. We have a volunteer that's doing the the whole editing process. Uh, we have a volunteer that's doing um, uh, the, the artwork of the book and uh, also a lot of volunteers who help with the text. And several parts of it, the, the, the historical part, and the music part, and the, the band list, because those are the three main um, topics in the, in the book. Some volunteers are helping to scan all the flyers, posters. We have also a photographer who make 
uh, who can do the, uh, the affiches because they are too big for the copy the Xerox uh, machine. To dig it up, um, uh, the idea to make an exposition of uh, 40 years of our venue and that will, will be very impor important and uh, special, I think. We hadn't thought about it ourselves. Yeah, du during the, the 40th uh, anniversary of Baruch, because that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be a big, big thing for the history of Rotterdam. And we want to uh, share it, we want to celebrate this. And we thought, well, together with Simone from uh, Dig It Up, they had the, the opportunity to expose some of the stuff. And we have some marvelous stuff from, from the in, in our history, from uh, at, uh, the, the, the real um, old-fashioned youth center, which maybe started in Rotterdam. And we, we were one of the first uh, youth centers. And that, that's the story we want to tell. And, and we, we, uh, in the book, we, we tell our story uh, in, in some ways, but there's, there are lots of stories to tell about the history of the Ruch, and because of the focus point of the youth or the focus point of the city or from, from the real uh, youth cultures or the, the youth itself or the music, that's also another part of it and that we want to show it all. And that's, that's the part yeah, which, which we can um, uh, show at the exhibition. Uh, we want to um, do something special again uh, when we're 50, in 10 years. So uh, we definitely uh, will uh, continue archiving. Mm -hmm.